This video shows the construction techniques being used for the execution of viaducts on lines 4 and 6 of the Riyadh Metro as well as the layout of the train depot. The FAST consortium has moved recently into its headquarters facilities north of Princess Nora University, where it is located close to the construction yards and to the northern depot and traffic control center. Across all the lines in the Riyadh Metro, there are three types of track structure and station – elevated, at grade and underground. There are four main methods used by FAST in the construction of viaducts, depending on the section and site conditions. The first of these is the full-span launching method. This method is the quickest of all and the most automated, with the least disruption to surrounding traffic. The single-cell box girders are pre-casted in the construction yard and moved to their designated location on rails, ready to be lowered into place. This method is suitable for straight alignments, but some curves are possible too. It has minimum affection on traffic, but it requires a plot of land along the alignment for construction. The risk associated with this method is that if a delay due to the diversion of utilities affects the pier construction, it can block the execution process. The first full-span launching method span is scheduled to be placed on Line 4 in March 2015. The precast beam method is also a suitable solution for straight alignments and some large radius curves but it's slower than the previous one and causes traffic impacts in lateral lanes. This method also requires the box girders to be precasted in the yard, transported by road to their designated location and lifted into place using cranes. It consists of two half-section beams per span and careful logistics planning is required to make sure it works smoothly. If there is a utility issue hindering the construction of a viaduct pier, you can skip to the next span and then go back once the pier is completed. The precast segment method is one of the more common construction methods used worldwide on many projects. It is the main method used when constructing viaducts with small curve radius, longer spans than the two previous methods, or when road access is less favorable. Again, the segments are precasted in the yard and transported to site by road. From there, they are lifted into place by the mobile gantry that awaits them overhead and lowered into final position. The choice of which method to use depends on varying criteria, but a combination of all three methods will ensure a rapid and efficient viaduct construction. Sometimes, however, conditions are such that none of the three main methods is appropriate. In this instance, the spans can be cast in situ, rather than precast solution. This is generally more time-consuming and resource-dependent, and causes traffic disruptions, but is a sure way to overcome some otherwise tricky obstacles. In parallel with the execution of the viaducts well underway, the construction of the train depot in the north of the city near to the transport control center is performed. This depot in the north of Riyadh 
will serve lines 4 and 6 and will be similar to the other depots serving line 5 and lines 1, 2 and 3 from the other packages. The depot is important to permit parking and maintenance of the trains, facilitate movement of the workforce and to build local knowledge and expertise. This depot can house several trains being worked on simultaneously with state-of-the-art facilities. Of course, the depot is where the success of the metro is won or lost and it will become a hive of operational activities. It is laid out logically and everything has its place. Maintenance buildings and systems buildings are accessible and conveniently located. Access must be slick to facilitate access to workers and visitors. The stabling area contains 50 stands in two cars configuration or 48 stands in two by two cars configuration and the maintenance areas have 24-7 capability to keep all areas of the metro running smoothly. Of course, access for delivery and for the supporting areas will be suitably designed, differentiated from the rest of accesses and areas. Fast Consortium is proud to be part of the implementation of this world-class metro system project at the forefront of sustainable urban transport.